subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. This week's biggest science story is the first ever detection of black holes gobbling up neutron stars, a discovery that an international collaboration of scientists made by analyzing gravitational waves generated by the event. You can find the full story on the print website. But what were some of the other exciting science stories from across the globe this week? That is what we talk about on this episode of Scientific. I am Mohana Basu and on today's episode of Scientific, I walk you through stories like what scientists found in dinosaur poop and gene editing experiments taking place in the International Space Station. By analyzing fossilized dinosaur droppings, scientists have discovered a 230 million year old beetle species representing a new family of beetles previously unknown to science. The fact that fossilized feces, also known as coprolites, can preserve ancient insect species offers a new alternative to amber fossils, which are fossilized tree resin that normally yield the best preserved insect fossils. The oldest insect fossils from amber, however, are approximately 140 million years old and thus from relatively recent geological times. With coprolites, researchers can now look even further into the past, allowing them to learn more about insect evolution and food webs of yet unexplored time intervals. The research team named the new beetle species Triamixia coprolithica. The species belongs to the same group that represents modern day insects that are small and live on algae in wet environments. Triamixia likely lived in semi aquatic or humid environments and were likely consumed by a beaked dinosaur ancestor about 2 meters long and 15 kilograms that lived in what is now Poland. Also this week, scientists carried out a gene editing experiment on board the, aboard the International Space Station for the first time, which paves the way for extensive research on DNA repair in space. The team developed and successfully demonstrated a novel method for studying how cells repair its damaged DNA in space. Damage to an organism's DNA can occur through normal biological processes or as a result of environmental causes such as UV light. In humans and other animals, damaged DNA can lead to cancer. However, cells have several different strategies by which damaged DNA can be repaired. Astronauts traveling outside of the Earth's protective atmosphere face increased risk of DNA damage due to the radiation that permeates space. Understanding which DNA repair strategies are employed by the body in space will be particularly important for protecting the health of space travelers. Previous work suggests that microgravity conditions may influence this choice, raising concern that repair might not be adequate. However, technological and safety obstacles have so far limited investigation into the issue. Now, researchers have used CRISPR-Cas9 genome editing technology to create precise damage to DNA strands so that DNA repair mechanisms can then be observed in better detail. The researchers successfully demonstrated the viability of a novel method in yeast cells aboard the International Space Station. The study not only marks the first time that CRISPR-Cas9 genome editing has been successfully conducted in space, but also the first time that also the first time in space that live cells have undergone successful transformation, that is incorporation of genetic material originating from outside the organism. Meanwhile, scientists have found that a planet's distance from the sun influences the density, mass and iron content of a rocky planet's core, a finding that can explain why Mercury has a big core relative to its mantle. For decades, scientists argued that hit-and-run collisions with other bodies during the formation of our solar system blew away much of Mercury's rocky mantle and left the big, dense metal core inside. However, the new research reveals that it is the sun's magnetism that is to blame. The team from Tohoku University developed a model showing that density, mass and iron content of a rocky planet's core are influenced by its distance from the sun's magnetic field. 
the four inner planets of our solar system that is mercury venus earth and mars are made up of different proportions of metal and rock the metal content in the core drops off as the planet gets farther from the sun the study shows that the distribution of raw materials in the early forming solar system was controlled by the sun's magnetic field during the formation of our solar system when the sun was young and surrounded by a swirling cloud of dust and gas grains of iron were drawn towards the center by the sun's magnetic field when the planets began to form from clumps of dust and gas planets closer to the sun incorporated more iron into their cores than those farther away the study suggests that the magnetism should be factored into future attempts to describe the composition of rocky planets including those outside our solar system Meanwhile an enormous ice covered lake in Antarctica vanished suddenly in a span of 3 days leaving scientists worried that such an event could happen again During the 2019 winter on the Emery ice shelf of East Antarctica an estimated 600 million to 750 million cubic meters of water drained into the ocean The scientists captured the event using satellite images The lake drained in roughly 3 days after the ice shelf beneath it gave way. The team believes that the weight of the water accumulated in the deep lake opened a fissure in the ice shelf beneath the lake, a process known as hydrofracture, causing the water to drain away to the ocean below. Hydrofracturing leaves behind a fissure which compromises the structural integrity of the ice sheet. which could cause ice shelves to collapse this could contribute to elevating sea levels that is all for this week this is mohana basu special correspondent at the print if you like our videos do consider paying for a subscription to the print you can do so through the link in the description box below